Welcome to Feed Dump, where this week, because the Canadian election was just called for October, this week, to celebrate that great news, we're all Canadian political parties. I'm the Conservative Party, otherwise known as We Are Never, Ever, Ever Getting Back Together. Joining me this week is the Green Party. I have exactly as many seats as they do. And the Communist Party. When there is a Florida man, I am of it. When there is an idiot, I am of low IQ. When there is a smuggled animal, I am not free. Even I didn't get that reference. Good news! Uh oh That's a filthy lie. No, actual good news. According to a new Harvard medical study, people who ate spicy food three times a week were 14% less likely to die. Well, I mean, they were still 100% likely to die overall, but 14% less likely to die suddenly. 14% less likely to die from what? Boredom-induced suicide. So researchers followed 500,000 Chinese people for seven years and monitored what they ate. They found that people who ate spicy food at least three times a week were 14% less likely to die during the course of the study than their less spicy food-eating peers. I don't really know why the spicy food helps so much, but the consumption of chilies has been linked to a reduction in the rates of heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. Who'd have thought that those chair-searing Szechuan farts were useful for something? Has anyone considered that those very same chili farts might be suppressing the lives of their non-spicy food-eating neighbors, thereby artificially inflating their own lifespans? Exactly! That's how they die! But what kind of life do these spicy folk lead? One never far from the toilet, presumably. Well, Cam, do you want to get some curry? What? No, this is a disaster. Statistically, I was only planning to live another 20 years. Now I have to take up smoking or something. I don't think that's how it works. Shut your fire hole, you're getting them on me. From the department of, no seriously, we've done this story before, authorities in Northeast Ohio arrested a man over the weekend because he was pretending to be a police officer to pull people over. And then he pulled over a real police officer. How do you even come up with an idea like this? Oh, it's quite easy if you try. The Franklin County, Kentucky Sheriff's Department is trying a new approach to crack down on drug dealers. They put up a Facebook ad offering to help people eliminate their competition. What, was exercising the state's monopoly on violence not fun enough for them? Where do ideas like this even come from? Guilty! Oh, come on. Evil's supposed to be at least interesting. This is some wily e. Coyote tier bullshit right here. Yes, yes, and then you blat them over the head with an enormous wooden mallet. It's foolproof! Wooden mallet, also a mine-resistant armored vehicle. That one's actually a repeating tear gas launcher. Yeah, sure, this is super cute on Facebook, but you know where it's going to be even cuter? When a neighbor uses this to get the police to fire a grenade into the bedroom of somebody who used their leaf blower at 5 a.m. on a Sunday. I guess it would be nice if there was at least a little bit more formality in using the local police force as your personal hit squad. Imagine, if you will, a county's worth of shitty 12-year-olds logging into their shitty mother's shitty Facebook accounts right now. Put me in the friend zone, I'll put you in the danger zone! Like, we're joking about this, but actually institutionalizing swatting people through Facebook is crazy. No, 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 no more you know. Don't know more about this. This is bad. If you'd like to know more, like me on Facebook. Yeah, maybe don't like, follow, and subscribe for that particular social media channel. But remember, there may be better sources of news, but they don't have the devil. Well, I mean, evil Alex. And they don't have this hat. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Which my friend Lindsay made for Halloween last year. And she gave to me because she knows me, and she is a good friend. I'm an anglerfish and I'm okay. I swim all day and I swim all night. And male anglerfish attach themselves to me because they're just floating sea testicles. Wait, is it actually the long-range microwave pain-inducing compliance device? It's the Black and Blue's brand new brown note! For many of us, the Black and Blue's siren is already a brown note.